In this example, we are provided with a part via SolidEdge Portal and are tasked with making a couple of modifications. SolidEdge Portal is a great free tool for design sharing and collaboration. The first two changes in the portal are to align the holes and make two faces coplanar. In SolidEdge, what if we accidentally delete our sketch? No worries, as SolidEdge with synchronous technology is not a sketch dependent. However, the question still remains on how we will make the changes without a sketch. That is not a problem as SolidEdge has face relay commands for easy modifications on the fly. We have the option to make face relay commands in SolidEdge temporary or permanent. If the persist option is turned on, the relationships are permanent and SolidEdge always recognizes them in design modifications. We can align the holes on our part with a line hole command. When using a line hole face relay command, SolidEdge will create a theoretical plane that is used for aligning the holes. The first hole we pick is where the plane will go through. Then we can simply pick the other hole or holes that we need aligned and select on any reference face or plane that is parallel to the theoretical plane we would like the holes to be aligned with respect to. Next, we will use the coplanar face relate command. We can just click on coplanar face relate, choose a face to relate, right click or enter to accept, then choose the face to be related to. Quick and easy. Permanent relationships can be deleted from Pathfinder. Back to the SolidEdge portal, we are tasked with making symmetry and offset changes at our next two changes in the part. The symmetry change is very simple to do with the help of synchronous technology. Picking the symmetric face relate, we can define the face to be symmetric the symmetric partner face, and define the plane of symmetry. The fourth change is to make sure the two faces at the back of the part remain at an offset in case designer make changes to the part. Offset face relay takes care of this, and we can even define the offset distance. Please notice as we move one face, SolidEdge recognizes the offset relationship and upholds it for us. Finally, we need to perform two more changes as requested in the markup of the design. These changes are related to size and orientation of different features on our part. The next change is to make the two arcs have the same size. We can quickly use the tangent command to achieve this. However, the equal face relate also does the job in this case. The workflow for the equal face relate command is similar to previous commands, but we can always look at the prompt bar for the next step if we ever get stuck performing these commands. Finally, we will make the two faces perpendicular. Don't blink or you'll miss it. Using the perpendicular command, we can select the face and make it perpendicular to another face. Please also notice we can use the same face relay commands at assembly level in SolidEdge. For example, we can set these two faces to be in line very quickly. To take this a step further, with pressing shift and spacebar, we can ask selection manager to identify all the coplanar faces. Then we can simply ask SolidEdge to just as easily snap all these coplanar faces to this back face. Job well done.
In this video, you'll learn more about face relay commands in SolidEdge.